Hello everybody, welcome back to Burst TV. So I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. I was working at a dental office as a dental hygienist for a very long time before I knew that patients weren't supposed to close their lips around the little suction tips. And I know a lot of you watching this are also gonna be caught off guard because you're either a dental professional that hasn't been told that or you're very confident that your suction lines are clear because you run them every day beginning and end of the day, and that you run them in between patients, and who knows, maybe even you do spore testing. If you want to see a really cool segment on testing your water lines, I'll leave the link um, up above for you to watch that video as well. But anyway, so a lot of people think this isn't a concern or have never even considered suction lines before. Or you're a non-dental professional thinking, wait, why am I not supposed to close my mouth on that? What's the problem? That's why we're here today. I'm gonna to talk with Jim from Dove Dental Products about some of the gross things that are just, they're lurking in the dental suction lines. Um, and he's got a simple solution to help both dental professionals and their patients stay safe and not feel so gross. Okay, so first I want you to look at this picture. Here we see the inner parts of the suction line where all the spit, tartar, paste, germs, extra water, and anything else goes into it when someone at the dental office is getting treatment. It's like a little vacuum cleaner. There's the slow speed suction and there's the high speed evacuation. Now there's often a little basket that traps, collects big chunks of things, um, and that's changed. I changed mine every day, sometimes in between each patient. I know it's kind of gross, but what happens over time is this, it gets really gross. A film starts to build up. And all of these lines that you see in this picture were flushed daily and they were considered clean. As you can see, it looks pretty disgusting. Things are supposed to go one direction with these suction lines, but a weird thing happens when you close your mouth on that, a pressure can actually build up and cause a little bit of whatever is in that line to go back toward your mouth or actually into your mouth. And I don't know about you, but I don't want any of that in here. I reached out to Jim because they've got a product at Dove Dental that prevents that backflow from happening, and it's pretty cool. So I thought more of you might enjoy seeing it as well. So this device is available for both the slower speed suctions and the HVE, which is the high volume evacuator. So that's the bigger and more powerful one for all of you non-dental viewers. And in true fashion, like we always do here at Burst, I reached out to some of my friends in the Burst Ambassador community to help with this video, because like most of you out there, we have questions. Hi, Jim. As a dental hygienist struggling to find the right HVE system right now, I just had a couple quick questions about the Dove Aero system. Uh, one is the noise. How does the noise of it compare to just the regular HVE suction tip? As we're working off the HVE line, I'll give you an example. This is a typical HVE. That's the sound you're going to hear during procedures, as you're all aware, because you have the eight millimeter bore. So it's gonna be a little bit louder than your typical saliva ejector, which obviously you're working half the diameter of the hose, so it's gonna be much lower pitch. The dump arrow works off of the HVE line to give you an idea of that sound. So it snaps right on. Dump arrow is a saliva ejector on an HVE line. And that is the sound you're gonna hear. So by comparison, it's a little bit lower decibel compared to your standard HVE. However, now you not only have the advantage of working with saliva with a backflow preventer, but I also have that external irrigation that if you take a look, it wants to hold that entire suction on the external so when the outside the patient's mouth, it continues to suck up anything that's around it. Hope that helps. Hi, I'm Ursula. I'm a dental hygienist and a burst ambassador. And I wanted to ask some questions about the Dove Arrow single use suction tip uh, with backflow prevention. How is it more ergonomic for the dental hygienist than the average high volume evacuation system? So ergonomics, if you look at a traditional HVE line, this is the Dove Arrow line. So it's almost a match in height but we connected a swivel top with a 22 millimeter bore. So if you take a look at your existing HVE tips, you're adding a tremendous amount of length. And we know with aerosol, you gotta get closer to the patient 
with using that eight millimeter bore. This is a standard eight millimeter. We increased it to 22 millimeters to give you an idea of how wide that actually is. And then we put three external holes for aerosol collection on them. Um, this, the only thing this can do for aerosol is collect right at the source. So anything that gets outside the source or outside the mouth, it's not gonna be effective. The Dove Aero is gonna be collected outside the mouth inside the patient's mouth with the widest bore and have a cheek retractor as well. Um, ergonomics, again, you got the same on offs as this. They connect on the same exact lines. And the other nice thing is this tip swivels, whereas this, you have to maneuver if you wanna angle your tip, you can get them backwards here. Um, and then our tip and valve will both swivel as well as, well as the tip. So it makes it really easy to use, really user friendly. And the best thing is you don't have to clean it. So at the end of the procedure, take it off and put it on your own. So I was just wondering as time goes on, um, are we supposed to sterilize these or are we just wiping them down with a disinfectant per patient? Because I know plastic over time instead of metal um, can start to wear, wear down for sure. So saliva injectors, if you're familiar with these on the market, there's about seven parts inside here. You have the rubber cup, often people toss them or they get hard because you use the, uh, and you can see this color of this tubing, the harsh chemicals just color it and make it very hard over time. Inside each valve, there are two O-rings. Um, up front, there's a basket to collect things. Uh, it's just a lot of parts. On our saliva ejectors, if you take a look, it is all one component, the on off, but it's clean every time, 100% guaranteed. Hi, Jim. I had a chance to look at your new product by Dove and I'm really interested in it. I'm curious though, is there ever gonna be a chance that you make it an autoclavable item and not a plastic throwaway? Just to give you an idea of why uh, we wanna clean a valve, we can zoom in a little closer here. This is a valve that I just took off a room that is deemed clean. This is the inside of this valve. And why backflow is so important is all of that stuff is gonna go the wrong way Everything inside there are reasons that this should be clean between patients. And then if you take a look, this little turret actually pops off. If you look at the black in between, you know, hopefully you can see that, that is caked on everything from blood, saliva, spit, from all the last patients that if you're not disassembling these little valves, every single patient, that's what's hidden below the surface. So hopefully that answers your question. One last question for me. So as we go along and infection control processes are becoming more stringent, as they should, as we, as we learn things, do you foresee devices like this becoming a requirement down the road? Uh, what I can tell you is just um, after doing this for right around six and a half years, the growth that's occurring on the ground level, which is the schools, is tremendous. So schools realize they can't teach students how to clean these things between patients. So what happens is in a school, Usually this will sit there until something goes wrong with it. It never gets removed, it only gets wiped off. So in a large dental setting, you may have 100 chairs, 100 valves, they're only wiped. No one's ever taught the IFU, which is to disassemble it. And then certainly no one's ever taught how to stop backflow when it's coming from this source. So unless you're using a backflow preventer, meaning something that stops it coming out of here, which all of our valves have, um, you're always going to have that risk. So do I see it becoming the norm? I see backflow preventers becoming the norm. And I think patients, if you gave them the option of a guaranteed um, clean valve versus one that has questions, still has backflow and probably isn't clean correctly, I think every patient around would select the guaranteed clean one. So do I see it being the norm? Not yet, down the line, but I also see it being the choice of any patient around. Thank you so much, Jim, for spending time with us today and answering our questions. Thank you to my Burst Ambassador friends. If any of you watching have tried these at your practice or you'd like to know more, just leave us a comment. We'll come back and answer your questions and read about your experiences. Thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Leave us a comment and have a wonderful day.